Have you ever wanted to pet an African porcupine or cuddle with some brush-tailed beddings? Reporter Olivia Richard visited one Tucson petting zoo where children and families are getting up close and personal with some endangered species. My parents run the place. We have so many animals. We actually have more than 150. We counted them once. <laughs> At first glance, Funnyfoot Farm might seem like just another petting zoo. But there's a lot more hay to this farm than meets the eye. So we're striving here to be a little different and be more of an educational place for kids of all ages. The tiny farm is fighting to keep some rare and endangered animals off the extinction list. We have a brush-tailed batong. Our batong is a critically endangered marsupial from Australia. The farm has partnered with a zoo breeding program that works to breed endangered species together with the goal of one day reintroducing them to the wild. Their mission to teach the community about the importance of animal conservation while allowing people to get up close and personal with exotic critters. Being able to teach these kids about animals that they might not get a chance to see in the wild to help inspire the conservationists in them is really vital and important. Without that, we're going to lose more species in the future. Whether you come for the goats or the capybaras, the farm's goal is to inspire the conservationists within each visitor. We'd really like the kids to learn about animals and be our next generation of zookeepers and conservationists. In Flowing Wells, Olivia Richard, Cronkite News. In addition to working with endangered species, the farm is also home to the largest population of touchable capybaras in captivity. The zoo is also expecting to welcome a baby kangaroo this summer.